Adrian and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very special guest. This is Lauren. She's my really good friend who just moved to California and started a YouTube channel. Yeah. So I was like, girl, we gotta do a video together. Yeah. So for sure. Today we are doing genius beauty hacks, makeup hacks that you guys seriously need to try out. I'm not kidding. Each one of these were things that like were discovered by doing them or someone told me them and I tried them and they actually worked really well. Yeah. So these are all like totally foolproof. We love them and They're incredible. Yeah, There's they're gonna good be ones. good. There's <laughs> some good ones on there. So also we did a video on Lauren's channel. We did like testing as seen on TV mm -hmm. products, which honestly I've wanted to do forever. So you'll have to go check that out. Subscribe to her, show her some love and tell her that I sent you. She's new to YouTube <laughs> and she's doing a great job. So Figuring it out. <laughs> yes. Before we get started, leave me a comment down below right now letting me know your favorite beauty product. Even if you're a dude, what is it? Deodorant? Lipstick? <laughs> I think my favorite beauty product is highlighter. Yeah, girl. <laughs> So yeah, let me know right now. And without further ado, let's get into the hacks. All right, you guys, so the first beauty hack is to use either micellar water or some sort of makeup remover, put it onto a cotton round and hold it on your eye for two minutes. This is going to seamlessly take your mascara off. I always have a huge issue with like removing mascara. I feel like I love those makeup wipes for the rest of my face, but mascara just gets so like stuck yes. on your eyelashes. Ugh, and, and honestly, it's taken me a really long time to figure out like a foolproof way to take all of it off without also feeling like I'm like ripping out my eyelashes. Yes. And I feel like rubbing makeup wipes on them is like not okay I don't know yeah all you do is hold it for two minutes and then you just wipe it right off and I kid you not it'll look like spider like it looks like your eyelashes just fell off onto the pad but it's all your mascara and then after that you can like go in with the makeup wipe and just get all the remnants off but at least most of it has like already come off and it's honestly so cool it's like magic yeah huh. so the next beauty hack I kind of found because you know you like to curl your hair but sometimes it just takes so long to curl your hair it's called Ain't this. nobody got time for that Ain't nobody got time <laughs> Time for that like please so what we've done is I've called this lazy girl curls mm -hmm. the way that you do this is instead of curling all of your hair and separating it into sections blah, 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 you put it up into a ponytail try to do the highest ponytail that you can because you want to have the most hair hanging out of the ponytail yeah. so essentially what you're doing you're just taking one inch pieces out of your ponytail and curling that you want to make sure you curl away from your face like you kind of split your ponytail in half but it takes about 10 15 minutes curl the whole ponytail and then you just kind of pull it out and it's like Looks perfect like kind of like natural curls yeah. uh, I went back and added just a few more wisps but seriously it took yeah. like 20 minutes I watched you do it and it was like really good so the next beauty hack also has to do with getting mascara off <laughs> big surprise I hate getting mascara off but it's kind of to trickle off of the last one another thing to do to get the parts of mascara that are like closest to your lash line that get all chunky and like stuck. I don't know if you guys can relate, but I like coat on the mascara. <laughs> and so I have like a lot to remove. So even when I get all of it off, there's always right by the lash line, just like little chunks. Yes. A great tip for getting rid of that is to take a Q-tip and put it in makeup remover or again, like micellar water, anything that takes off makeup. And you kind of just like twirl it onto your eyelashes to like get that last stuff out. And you can even kind of brush it underneath and just like wisp it out. I don't even know how to explain it, but it works really That's well. And one. my roommate showed me both those mascara hacks. And I'm honestly so grateful for it <laughs> because now taking off my mascara isn't so daunting. That's a really good one. That's yeah. Really good so one. definitely do that. Okay. So this next one I discovered when I was in a pinch, I was running late and you know, when you put deodorant on and then you put a black shirt oh, on the worst and you get those lovely little lines going down your whole shirt and it ruins the whole morning routine getting yes. ready. So, in order to get rid of those deodorant stains, those deodorant marks that you get when you put on dark clothing, grab one of your fuzzy hangers. You got I'm it? You got it? it? Can you do it? Grab a fuzzy hanger like this and literally rub this on the stain. Rub it on the deodorant like if it's like lines, you know, it's like usually kind of... Demo on me. Yes, I'll demo on you. Just rub it right on the line. Just kind of do it over and over. You kind of got to like get at it, but it will disappear. That's Seriously, crazy. like Photoshop magic. It's awesome. Like she did this. <laughs> I and did it, this. I was like, what? Like you would <laughs> never it. expect that. I, I, I kind of was like, I don't really believe this thing. Right. I don't really believe you. And then I picked it up and I just sat there rubbing at it and I was like, it's gone. Wow. <laughs> so this next hack is for cleaning makeup brushes because I don't know if you guys realize this, but 
first of all, makeup brushes literally carry so much bacteria in them because you put them all over your face, you keep like all these products on them, and they just sit there like building up bacteria. So not only do you obviously want to get the makeup off of the brushes, but you want to make sure you're killing like any germs in there because one of the major causes of acne is actually like not washing brushes. So here's an awesome Makes hack sense. for how to easily wash your brushes without like buying some sort of brush wash. You literally take Dawn soap or any sort of like kitchen soap and then mix it with conditioner. I don't know why, but the conditioner oh. kind of just like makes it soft because it's actually like your the bristles or hair. So you want to treat them gently, but then you want to use the soap that has like antibacterial and you kind of just like swish those around. I like to put it on the brush and then take like a towel that I don't care about and just literally like swish the brush on it until all the stuff comes out. And it's crazy how much makeup you'll find coming out of the brush like that you didn't yeah, even realize sure. was still there. It's pretty gross, but it's also like so satisfying. It's necessary, so, right? So on that note, I also have beauty blenders and I never fully understood like how to wash them the best way I kind of would just like let them get really gross and then throw them away which no one was knows. not great <laughs> so now I have discovered this awesome hack for cleaning them way more easily and again my roommate showed me this so you take your beauty blender and normally people would like use soap or whatever run it underwater but I have found that if you actually use like some sort of cleansing gel or makeup remover like face wash and actually use that to wash it off it washes out so much more because it's meant to remove makeup Interesting. pump that onto the sponge swish it under the water and be like squeezing it out over and over and keep doing that until literally the water runs clear and the beauty blender has no makeup on and I, it's like unbelievable I didn't think mine was so disgusting <laughs> it was like so gross it was fully covered in foundation like it was like brown and it used to be orange oh but God. like I did this and it looked brand new and I didn't oh. even know that was possible also it smells like soap from then on it's actually killing yeah. the germs because yeah. you're using soap and makeup remover. Ugh, so good yeah so good okay so the next hack is if you're ever like in a rush or in a pinch and you don't have any blush or anything and you want to add a little bit of color to your cheeks all you need is a little bit of Vaseline and some lipstick mm -hmm. what you can do is like essentially like make your own blush just by rubbing them together it doesn't even have to be Vaseline it can be ointment it can be like, like lip ointment yeah. lip chapstick like anything like a little bit what's what it what yeah. does that even feel <laughs> I don't like even, the ointment it's like like <laughs> like tacky like how this do you is the only that? way I know to describe <laughs> it <laughs> essentially if you just rub that together you can kind of just create like a little bit of color, yeah. a little bit of pink, a little bit of red. All right, this next hack I've actually done before in a previous video, but I just wanna reiterate it because it's like so easy and so helpful. So if you guys are still into like liquid matte lipsticks, one major suggestion for, I know like the dryness of it always bothered me. It would like feel so disgustingly dry. Yes. So a really, really easy life hack that I swear works and it still looks matte is wearing chapstick or like lip ointment underneath the matte lipstick because then the matte lipstick dries, but you still have like a layer of moisture on your moisture. lips. I can't explain it but it literally doesn't feel dry like you can actually move your lips around but it still looks matte still looks matte but yeah feels good feels good so the next hack is not so much even a hack but something that I highly recommend because I have been using it recently I used to have eyelash extensions and it's just way too expensive to upkeep and just really annoying and so my roommate again thanks roommate <laughs> actually discovered this like incredible eyelash serum like I was so skeptical at first and then I saw her eyelashes after like 12 weeks and they I asked her if she had extensions like, really? they were so long on fleek so basically it's this eyelash serum called Lash Boost. It's by Rodin and Fields. And I can put all the info down below on how to get yours. It's not like a traditional online shop. You actually go through like a vendor. So I can put her information down below and you guys can contact her and get it. But like literally, I kid you not, it changed my life. Basically you just put a little bit of the serum on your lash line. I do it like before bed every night and it, oh. It repairs and heals and like grows your lashes. It's unreal. I didn't think that it's was- It's like a serum? It's a serum. And oh. like, you guys might have heard of Latisse. That's a very popular one. Okay. But that one's more expensive than this. And I was so skeptical, but I have gone through everything with my eyelashes. I wear yeah. fake ones. I've ripped them out. Like. They were so damaged and like short and stubby. Yeah. And I started using the serum and I'm not even kidding. They grew so much longer already and I've only been using it for like a month. No. Highly recommend. Check out the description box to order yours. I'll let you know how and love it. All right. So the next hack is in case you don't have primer or you don't want to go buy any primer. Here's a really cheap 
free way to do it at home all yeah. by yourself. Go into your freezer and grab an ice cube and rub that all over your face. And what it does is it closes your pores, it reduces redness, and you actually feel like this like nice, tight, like yeah. glow, dewy glow. It has like the same effect as what primer does, which yes. essentially primer is like filling your pores so that the makeup isn't filling your pores so yeah. that you won't get as much like acne mm -hmm. and also it'll like last longer because it's not being sucked into your face. Yes. It's kind of like a coat on your face and then makeup. So like I a shield. <laughs> yeah, like cold water and ice like tightens your pores up already. And so it's kind of just preparing your face for like a day of makeup and it'll last longer. And it sounds weird, but it's actually like, it's cool. Yeah, it works. And yeah. it's in your freezer. Like, yeah, and it feels good. Okay, so this next hack is also to make your eyelashes appear longer and fuller, even if you don't have that long and full of lashes. <laughs> so I actually use this L'Oreal like primer base thing before mascara. But like, if you don't want to go buy a primer like that, because it's kind of unnecessary, you can actually take a mascara wand and dip it in either like baby powder, is that what it's called? Yeah baby powder or like um, like setting powder and just brush a little bit onto your lashes before you put mascara on and it'll just make them be a little bit longer because they're actually being coated with yeah. something so they're like a little bit thicker. Just realize that whatever mascara you use, the wand is going to get like some of that powder on it. So just be like cleaning the wand or just have it be a mascara that you don't care if it gets yeah. like powder in it. I don't know. But yeah, really good easy hack for like longer lashes. So I'm someone who does, I don't know if you do this, but I do my eye makeup first before I do my face makeup just because I like sparkly eyeshadows and sparkly eyeshadows tend to fall. Yep. And I always find myself like having to rub really hard underneath my eyes. But a really good solution after you've done your eyeshadow and there's a little bit of fallout, just stick a little piece of scotch tape and kind of just dab it underneath your eyes and you don't have to rub. You know, sometimes it hurts. You have to like rub really hard mm -hmm. to get it out there. This is an easy way to just slowly pick it up. I personally, like I don't do my eyeshadow first. And so I've already done my concealer and my foundation. Ooh. And I don't know why I just do it that way, but this Hard. is a perfect hack because even for me, like if there's fallout, I can use the tape instead of like rubbing my makeup off. And ruining it, yeah. Yeah. Yes. But. Good one, Lauren. Yeah. <laughs> woo, 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 woo. <laughs> All right, you guys, that was 12 exciting beauty hacks that you guys need to try. I'm not kidding, like they all really work mm -hmm. and I love all of them. So go ahead and try them out. Let me know if you do. You can follow me on Twitter or Instagram, tag me in any sort of posts that you guys share. And thank you again for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to go check out Lauren's channel, check out the video we did and subscribe to her. Show us some love from me and you guys. <laughs> and yeah, that is it for this video. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and being a part of my life and I'll see you in my next video.